it sure is hard to dance in the snow. Hey, it's me, Brecky Breck. And look where I am. I'm in the middle of the woods in the snow. Woohoo! I love being in the snow in the middle of the woods. Well, guess what? Today, we're gonna learn a little bit about snowshoeing, and then we're gonna talk about one of my favorite winter animals, the penguin. Have you ever seen a penguin before? Oh boy, well I can't wait to learn a little bit about penguins. All right, let's get started. These right here are called snowshoes, and snowshoes are used to help people walk across deep snow. Because if you don't disperse your weight, you might just sink right down. You see that? Whoa, it's hard to walk in the snow sometimes. Let's take a closer look at these snowshoes. So, snowshoes have these spikes all over the bottom of them so they can help grip into the slippery snow. And do you see how big this is? This is gonna make my foot seem bigger to disperse my weight so I can stay on top of the snow. Isn't that really interesting? So these snowshoes are a little bit newer so they've got some cool straps on them. You slide your foot in like this and push down to tighten it up. Push down on this one, whoa. And then you can buckle the back. Whoop. And then you can adjust them like that. <gasps> Check that out! And when you lift your foot, it flows right with it. Isn't that really cool? Oh boy, well let's get this other one on really quick. Wow, well now that we have these on, we can grab our trekking poles here. These help balance in the snow and they help to test how deep the snow is, just so you know where you're about to step. Okay, let's put these at about the same length. Perfect. Are you ready? You can strap them onto your wrist so they don't fall into the deep snow. I think we're ready to go. You ready? Snowshoes on. Whoa! Check this out. This is a fallen tree, and these are its roots. Isn't that amazing? Wow! When I'm out in nature, I love to look around and see all the fun things there are to see. Whoa! Let's keep hiking. on top of the snow so they're not getting wet and cold. Whoa! Hey, should I try to dance with these on? It might be a little hard, but they're so lightweight, who knows? frost on the on the branches of the trees over there. That's so beautiful with the mountains in the background and the sun shining through. Oh boy. I love nature. Wow. Well now that we had an opportunity to learn about snowshoeing, I want to talk about one of my favorite winter animals, a penguin. Oh, let's go inside and do a fun craft. Does that sound like fun? Come on. All right, well now that we're inside where it's nice and cozy, we can talk about penguins. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a penguin before? 
like this one right here. Well, penguins live in Antarctica. <gasps> Do you know where Antarctica is? It's at the bottom of the globe in the South Pole. Isn't that crazy? It's just covered in snow and ice and it is freezing cold. It can get to be negative 60 degrees Celsius. That's negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, can you imagine living in such cold temperatures? Oh wow. Penguins. They live in the water for up to five months at a time. <gasps> Freezing cold temperatures, super icy cold water. How would a penguin stay warm in five months of freezing cold water? Oh my goodness, well, we're gonna do a science experiment to learn how. Penguins, they have these really cool glands that produce this waxy substance and it coats all of their feathers and penguins have incredibly dense packed feathers. Isn't that so cool? So this waxy substance coats a really thick gloss and wax over their feathers to where when water hits it, it just slides right off. Isn't that so cool? So today, we're gonna use crayons. Guess what? Crayons are made out of wax. So crayons are gonna act as our wax, like the wax on a penguin's feathers. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna color a penguin cover this picture completely with the crayon wax and then we're gonna spray it to see if it will stick onto our paper or if it'll slough right off. So first things first, we're gonna draw a penguin. but we have to make sure that we cover this penguin completely with the wax. So we're gonna have to do like one or two layers, okay? And it'll take a lot of patience, but that'll be really cool because penguins, they have a lot of wax on their feathers. So I'm gonna use white first and I'm gonna cover this whole penguin. Now you can't really see the white very well, but that's okay. the white done, I'm gonna color this outside part black. Just like a penguin. Nice and thick all around it. I don't wanna see any white underneath, the, I don't wanna see any paper underneath this. black eyes. We'll paint the nose orange. I love the color orange. That's a pretty color. We'll do the feet orange as well. Did you know that penguins have super thick fat on their feet so that they don't get cold? They have to walk up to 60 miles through the snow and the ice. That's a lot of walking. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna cover, color the cheeks red. That's super cute. The other cheek. <gasps> All right. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out our penguin. Are you ready? When you're using scissors, make sure you ask for permission or you ask for help, okay? Cause scissors can be kinda dangerous sometimes. And they're kinda tricky too. So don't get frustrated if you feel like you can't cut very well. That's okay, it just takes practice. Here we go, we have our cute little penguin. Wow, well, we should see how well I waxed it. Are you ready to test it out? All right, we grab our squirt bottle. <gasps> Look at that, 
Do you see how the beads just balled up but they didn't really soak into the paper? Watch this one. Here's our scrap paper. Oh, see it just soaked right in there. That would get really cold really fast. But since we have wax all over this penguin, it's balling up on it and just sliding right off. Oh boy, I'm getting everything wet. <laughs> Wow, penguins are incredible creatures. I love watching them swim, and they can do this cool move where they come in and out of the water like a dolphin, and that's called porpoising. Isn't that so cool? Wow, and another fun fact, there are 18 different species of penguins. Did you know that? 18 different species? Some of them can swim for hundreds of miles, and some of them like to stay close to the land in their icebergs and nests. Isn't that awesome? Do you want to watch some penguins swim? Oh boy, I love it! Are you ready? Come on, let's go! Oh, wow! Look at in here! There's a starfish, sea anemones. Oh, boy! <laughs> wow, these are all the things you could find on the beach when tide pools are around. <laughs> Look at this fish down here. Watch him move. Do you see his eyeballs at the top? Interesting. And this big giant starfish right there. Oh, let's keep exploring. <laughs> Look at this. Now we're at the touch pool. We can actually feel some of these creatures. Oh, you see this sea anemone? Ooh, poke, poke. Oh, he's really gushy. <laughs> and these giant starfish, they're all piled up. Ooh, wow. Those feel really soft, but slimy and hard and kind of rocky. <laughs> Watch this one. Oh, it's sticking to my finger. He's like, I'm going to eat your finger, Bricky Brick. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Check out this crab right here. Wow. Can you walk like a crab? <laughs> That's how crabs walk, huh? <laughs> Look at this sunflower starfish. It's moving across the glass. Oh boy, it has so many tentacles on the bottom. Those are its legs and the way it eats. Hey fish, what are you doing? Oh boy. You see they've kind of got a current going in here so he's feeling like he's moving, but he's kind of not really moving. <laughs> wow, now we're gonna go to the coastal waters. Look at all these jellyfish over here. Wow, they're beautiful and they move so gracefully, huh? Wow. You don't 
ever want to touch a jellyfish on the underside because it'll shock you. But on the top side, you can touch them. But don't ever touch a jellyfish or anything for that matter unless an adult tells you you can. <laughs> Check out this tank over here. It's glowing so beautifully. Wow, all the sea anemones in there. And the fish. Oh, fish. Oh boy, I wish I was a mermaid so I could swim around in there and breathe really easily. <laughs> wow, we have a china rock fish, a red Irish lord, Let's see if we can find any of this fish. Hmm. So looking at this red one right here, which one does he look like he could be? Hey, this is probably him. Vermilion rockfish. Ooh, hi there. <laughs> Prawn. Whoa! That's like a shrimp, lobster, crab looking thing. That's an interesting creature. Wow! And look at this guy. He's got claws. Oh boy. And look at these fish and this big sea anemone. Whoa, and he blends right in with the rocks. I almost didn't even see him. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. That's called camouflage, blending in with your surroundings. That's a protective mechanism he uses to make himself safe. Look at these. This is called a lion's mane jellyfish. Wow, because his hair and tentacles are kind of crazy like a lion's mane. Wow, we. <gasps> Look at this guy. Puff. He's moving pretty quick. Oh boy, there are so many beautiful creatures. Let's keep exploring. Now we're gonna go into the bird exhibit. Come on, let's check it out. These are nesting seabirds and they have a net over them to make sure none of them Look it up there. That looks like a puffin, doesn't it? Look it over here. This guy right here is called a tufted puffin. Oh boy, he's got cool looking hair. <laughs> Hi buddy, how are you doing? And those right there, those are called common murders. They've got really long pointed beaks. When you're with the birds, you want to move gently so you don't scare them or anything. Hi. How are you doing? Let's move on to the next exhibit. And here we have sea lion. Let's see if we can find one. Hi there. Whoa, check him out. Ooh, his head's above water. Maybe he'll duck down. He's coming right for us. Whoa, hi buddy. <laughs> wow, I wish I could scratch him on the head. He'd probably really like it. <laughs> Whoa. He's got whiskers. He reminds me of like a dog, but it's like a water dog. <laughs> They're really good swimmers. Look at this guy. These sea lions can hold their breath for a really long time. And when they fall asleep, they fall asleep kind of half asleep because they gotta be aware when they need to take a breath above the ocean. <laughs> Oh boy. We're gonna go to 
the passages of the deep where we might see some sharks swimming overhead. <gasps> oh boy! <laughs> Get out over here. Whoa, that is a big shark jaw. Oh my goodness. This is the mouth of a megalodon shark. Oh boy. I feel like this would have been able to swallow me whole and wouldn't even have to take a bite. <laughs> Woo. Are you guys ready? We're gonna go in the underwater open sea tunnel. Whoa, there's a shark. Wow, it has spots all over it.
how fast the wind got up there? We were at like 84 miles an hour. That is really, really windy. Woo! Wow, we check out this scuba diver. This aquarium has over 140 scuba divers that come and clean all of these exhibits. That's a lot of work, but these guys are trained professionals. Hi there, buddy. Wow. Wow, we look at over here. There's a blue shark jaw. Oh my goodness. Ah, that's one big mouth. <laughs> and look at this megalodon tooth. Oh boy. Ooh, check this out. Look at these teeth. That's a lot of little teeth. This is called a big skate. Check out this leopard shark skin too. Wow, wee, that's beautiful. And here's a leopard shark stuffed animal. Ooh, maybe he wants to go swimming with his friends in there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> wow, well thank you so much. Wow, look at this giant helmet. Oh boy. And inside, there's some orange clownfish resting on the sea anemone. Do you see him in there? Clownfish are super pretty, huh? <laughs> Come on. That's a silly looking octopus. <laughs> Look at this. This is a green moray eel, and it can grow up to eight feet long. Oh boy. It's kind of looks like a snake in the water, huh? A little bit scary. Look at this clown trigger fish. Wow, that's beautiful. Its spots are so unique. Whoa, this is a red lionfish. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. It looks really, really delicate, doesn't it? This right here is a porcupine balloon fish. And when he gets scared, or he's trying to act really brave, he puffs up really big <laughs> to intimidate any predators. All right, come on, let's keep exploring. These right here are lion seahorse. Oh boy, and you can even crawl under, watch. These are cute little sea otters. They love to roll around and play and scrub their tummies to get all clean. Oh boy. They can float really well too. at the sea lion docks. Wow, sea lions love to just bask in the sun. They're pretty lazy. Right here? Oh, look at that! 
there's a snail inside. That is a living creature and it's a snail. We better put him right back. Oh boy. These are called barnacles. These hard things, they can kind of hurt your feet if you're barefoot. So be really careful around them. Let's keep exploring. adventures with me. I hope to see you in some of my other adventures. Bye-bye! <laughs>